Hi VLSI aspirants, today's video is about VLSI profiles. As a fresher or student, we all have doubts regarding VLSI profile. This video will give you all basic things we need to know as a student before starting our journey. Our placement journey will decide which area we will be working on for the rest of our lives. At the end of this video, I will let you know which profile I have chosen and which profile I have got selected for. I will include some tips as well, so stay tuned till the end. VLSI industry mainly hires for three profiles for freshers, which is analog, digital and mixed signal. To give you a crisp difference between the three profiles, you can see the image here. The image here is taken from CDEEP course, which is taught by Professor Rajesh Zile from IIT Bombay. He is one of my favorite professors. In case you don't know how to access IIT Bombay CDEEP course for free with written notes, let me know in the comments. I'll make a video of it. This image is also taken from professor's notes itself. The image shown here is a receiver end. Initially, when the signal is received, as you know, the rear wheel signals are in analog, which requires analog front end blocks like amplifiers, attenuators, filters, etc. to process the signal. ADC. After amplifying and filtering the signal, the signal is then converted into digital using ADC and then processed in digital to give back to DAC which is digital to analog converter. Then the output again will be in analog form. So we need blocks like power amplifiers to finally give it to a speaker. In perspective of VLSI, the designing of blocks like amplifiers, attenuators, filters, etc. are done by analog VLSI engineers. The work to convert analog to digital or digital to analog, which is done by DAC or ADC, are designed by mixed signal engineers. And the blocks like processors are designed by digital VLSI engineers. We'll look at it in depth in the next part of video. As we have already discussed, for freshers, there will be three profiles. Please note, this is from placement scenario perspective. May not replicate off-campus recruitment. Most of the companies which come for recruitment in placements hire for digital VLSI profile roles. Digital VLSI openings are higher than other profiles. Around 80% of companies who visit for recruitment Higher digital VLSI rules. Around 20% intake analog and RFIC engineers. During my period, there was no openings for mixed signal engineers. Hence, it is not guaranteed. You can check with your placement stats or off-campus hires if you are targeting specific roles like mixed signal. Some of the companies which come for hiring digital VLSI roles are NVIDIA, Micron, Qualcomm, MediaTek, Intel, TI, AMD, ADI, Samsung. These are some of the companies. And for analog, TI analog, Qualcomm RFIC, Aura, MediaTek, Samsung. Now, let us see the subjects we need to study for various VLSI profiles. First, for digital VLSI profile, we need to study subjects like Digital Electronics, Digital IC, Verilog, C Programming, SDA, PIFO, COA. Please note this is not an exhaustive list. In case you want to know how I prepared for my Digital VLSI profile, you can watch out this video here. This PDF will be uploaded in my Telegram channel. You can check the link in the description below. For Analog VLSI profile, some of the subjects you need to study are Analog Electronics, Analog IC, RFIC, RC Circuits and etc. Please note the assumption made here is that you have clear understanding of all the basics of all gate subjects. Some of the sources I have followed are mentioned here. For Digital VLSI Profile, I have followed NPTEL. For Digital IC, I have followed Professor Janaki Raman from IIT Madras and for Verilog, I have followed Professor Internal Sen Gupta's video. For studying STA, one can follow ESGN YouTube channel and practice problems. For written test and for some parts of COA, I refer to Neso Academy videos on YouTube. For C programming, Neso Academy and Naresh IT YouTube channel were helpful. 
for analog VLSI profile, one can follow NPTEL. There are excellent professors like Professor Nagendra Krishnapura from IIT Madras, who teach analog. There is another professor from BITS whose videos are available on YouTube with name Chambi and T. I started loving analog after watching his videos. He explains analog in a very intuitive way, from very basic and you'll start enjoying. You'll see analog in a very different perspective after listening to him. His videos are very intuitive and very helpful from interview point of view as well. Other YouTube channel you can follow is Himanshu Agarwal. He got selected in TI Analog. His videos will be very helpful in your journey. Other source I have followed is CD. CD has videos from IIT Bombay. This is part one of this video, VLSI profiles. There are many more things to discuss, like projects, difference in pay scale in digital and analog profiles. What are various themes in analog and digital VLSI profiles? And which one is good for you to choose? So if you want part 2, hit that like and subscribe to let me know you are interested. And as I said initially in the video, I will share what I have prepared for. I have prepared for both analog and digital profiles, but I got selected for digital VLSI profile. You must be thinking, am I happy with that? I would say absolutely yes. There is very less data we know about VLSI industry as a student. There is a lot of exciting work going on in VLSI industry currently. You will be allotted a team based on your strong areas in interview. So it is very much likely that you will enjoy your job. So keep working hard for a better tomorrow. Thank you.